The Minecraft 1.20 update is out and with it some new rare items. To have an infinite supply of pottery shirts, armor trims and netherite upgrades, I show you all working duplication glitches for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. <laughs> Now the first one is gonna be an all item duplication glitch for normal worlds. In order to perform it, you're gonna need a shulker box filled with all the items you want to duplicate and a nether portal. The first thing in order to do it is to save and quit your game. Now after you've done this, you can easily go back into your world and now the game remembers the last point of your world. Now what you want to do is to jump right in the portal and just before you get teleported to the nether you want to place down your shaka box and then as soon as you are in the nether you want to exit the game without saving. Depending on your device you can either press Alt F4 or you just have to use your console menu in order to close the game without saving. Now I do it, I jump in the portal. I place down my shaka box, I just wait until I am in the nether and then I exit the game. Now as you can see what happens when you go back into the world is that you have the shaka box in your inventory filled with all the items you wanted to duplicate and you got a second one placed down in front of your nether portal. Let me tell you that this won't work every time, it took me two tries in order to get it to work but it is very safe and won't lose you any items. Now if you're still in an early game phase, you probably won't have a shaka box, so you can do this with a regular chest as well. In addition to the chest, you also need the items you want to duplicate, you can do this with whichever items you want to. Now in order to perform the duplication glitch using a chest, what you want to do is to place down your chest right in front of the portal and then just save and quit your game. Once you are back in the world, you can open the chest, you can put all the items inside of the chest, then you want to jump in the portal and now as soon as we are in the nether we can just go out of the game without saving. As you can see we got all the items that we wanted to duplicate in our inventory and they are in the chest as well so we duplicated all of them. Actually this time I did it first try but maybe it will take you some more tries. Now to the second duplication glitch. This one is for all gravity blocks including sand, gravel, anvils, dragon eggs and all kind of concrete. Now in order to perform it you will need some drip leaves which you can get from either lush caves or from the wandering trader and some levers and of course the items that you want to duplicate. Now what you want to do is to place down your drip leaves like this. Then you want to come behind and you want to place levers and flick them one behind every drip leaf. And once you got this you can just put the gravity blocks on top of the drip leaves. Now once you got this in order to duplicate the items you just have to save and quit your game. Then when you're back in your world you will see that the items drop down but they're still on top of the drip leaf as well so you duplicated all of them. For any of you that need a faster gravity block duplication glitch which is actually suitable for realms and servers as well, you'll probably go with this one. In order to perform it, you need a water bucket, some blocks and the items that you actually want to duplicate. If you want to duplicate concrete powder with this duplication glitch, you'll have to use four extra strings as well. Then what you want to do is to go in the end dimension of Minecraft and once you defeated the ender dragon, you'll have one of these around. Then what you want to do is to place one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, a temporal block right here. And then you want to place a wall that is one block high all around your platform. Of course, destroy this one. And now once you got this, you can place your water in the corner right here. And then when you want to duplicate the items, you just have to place them right here. They will drop down and the beam will pop up and that means they will get duplicated. Now, if you want to use concrete powder with this machine, you have to place strings in these four locations. As you can see, then the concrete powder won't turn to concrete and you can replicate it how often you want to. Now in order to collect all of the items that we duplicated, we can use an ender pearl to get into the outer end islands. As you can see, all the items will either drop on the floor or will be placed as the block. Now here we got an infinite emerald duplication glitch which is suitable for all kinds of worlds. In order to perform it, you just need an emerald. If you want to be more efficient, then you can use a good axe as well. Now, this villager right here is a librarian villager which is healed several times and it will sell you a bookshelf for one emerald. Let's do this and let's place it down, of course, in survival mode. 
Now, just destroy it with your axe or with your fist if you want to, and we got three books. As you can see right here, we can sell one book for one emerald. So if we sell all of our three books, we get three emeralds, which lets us buy three more bookshelves, which we can place down and destroy in order to get nine books, and we can sell them as well, and we got nine emeralds out of just one, which is a pretty good win. As the next one, we got a horse armor duplication glitch. This one won't work every time, but you won't lose any items. You will need the horse armor that you want to duplicate and a sword with looting three. Then you just have to tame one of your horses. And once you got this, you just want to put on the armor, jump off and kill it with your looting three sword. As you can see, this time we just got one armor. Let's try it another time. And as you can see, this time it actually worked and we got two diamond horse armors by just killing one horse. As the second to last one, we got a kelp duplication machine, which is a zero tick kelp farm. I got a tutorial to this in the video description. Now, if you pull this lever, then as you can see, the machine will start and all the duplicated kelp will get in this large chest right here. And actually, the rate is very, very good. You'll get a good amount of kelp in a short time. And you can use the kelp either by burning it to get experience or by funneling it through a composter to get bone meal. Now, last but not least, we got the most powerful duplication glitch for all kinds of worlds in the current Minecraft 1.20 Bedrock Edition. In order to perform it, you'll need a chest, a sticky piston and a lever. And you'll need all the items that you want to duplicate. You can use shaco boxes as well if you want to. Now to this one, I've got a full tutorial in the video description as well. But to keep it short, you simply need an empty chunk in the end dimension of your world, which is below Y16. As you can see with this resource pack, we can actually see the chunk borders. And now if you look at the map, we see that in between the green square, we don't have any blocks. So it is fully empty, which we will need for our duplication glitch. In order to perform it, you want to place a sticky piston right in this position with a chest in front and a lever, which you want to flick right here. Then you can put all the items inside of your chest that you want to duplicate. And after doing this, you want to save and quit your game. Now, as you can see, we should have the chest, which is the only block in this empty chunk and behind the construction with the piston and the lever. Now, in order to duplicate the items that are inside of our chest, you want to flick the lever and then go back to your end portal. Now, jump right through and as soon as you are in your overworld again, then simply save and quit the game. Now, if you are on a normal world, I recommend waiting about 30 seconds. If you are on a realm, I recommend waiting at least 3 minutes because it will take the realm longer to save the game. Once you waited that time, you can go back into your world and then of course back into the end dimension. Now let's see if everything worked. If everything worked, we should have two chests standing right here. I simply fly over in creative mode. As you can see, we got two chests right there. Let's see if all the items are inside as well. We got the items right here and we got them right here as well, which means we actually duplicated all of them. If you want to, you can just repeat this as often as you want to. You can also place more sticky pistons with levers behind and chests in front to maximize your rates. Now, these were all the duplication glitches in the 1.20 version of Minecraft Bedrock. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This would help me very, very much and I appreciate all of your support. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section or on my Discord server. And we see us again in the next video. See ya!